Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to give you three Photoshop tricks you may not already know. And we're going to jump right into it with the first trick. Now, as you look at Photoshop, over here on the left-hand side, we have these color chips. And you probably already know this. If you get the eyedropper tool, you could load a color that is in your image into that front chip. You could just click, let's say, on her eyes, and you load the color of her eyes there, or on her skin, and you could load it there. Now, you probably know this too. You could do the same thing with the brush tool. If you have the brush tool open, just hold the Alt or Option key in. Alt if you have PC, Option if you have a Mac, and you get that eyedropper tool, and you could click anywhere in the image. But did you know that you could click somewhere outside of Photoshop to get a color? You could click on your desktop. You could click on an image that's loaded in another application. All you need to do, first of all, move Photoshop out of the way. So I'm just going to drag Photoshop off to the right. And as I drag it off, you'll see I have an image in my image viewer of a tiger. I want to load, let's say, the color of that tiger's eye into that color chip. To do it, put the cursor over the image. Now, if you have the brush tool open, you're going to have to hold in the alter option key. If you have the eyedropper tool, you just don't, you don't have to hold in that modifier key. But I'm going to hold in the alter option key because I have the brush tool. Get the eyedropper. Then, click with the left mouse button while you're over the image in Photoshop. Keep the left mouse button clicked in, and as I drag to the left, you'll see, look at that color chip. Wherever I go over the tiger, that's the color that's going to get loaded into that color chip. I'll go right over the tiger's eye, right, right there, right? Let go. Now it's loaded into that color chip. Now I'll just bring Photoshop back. And we drag the girl away, so we'll bring her back by hitting Command-0 on my Mac. It's Control-0 on, on your PC. And you can see now with the brush tool, I could paint that color that was in the tiger on this image. So that's a pretty cool Photoshop trick. Now, next trick or tip. Often, you want to do work on an image and you have to zoom in. For example, if I want to do some work on her eyes, I'll zoom into her eyes, right? So I'll hit Command Plus a couple times on my Mac, center it, bring it in. Then I want to see what it looks like and I'll have to zoom back out like that. Well, did you know that you could set this image up as a reference image so you could zoom in on one side while viewing the whole image in its context on the other side? To do that, with this image here, go up to Window, Arrange, and then go down in New Window, and the name of this image happens to be called GlamourPortrait.psd, but it could be anything, whatever the name of your image is. So I'm going to open a new window for this image, right? So it has this image basically opened twice in Photoshop. Now go up to Window, Arrange, and go up to Two up vertical. Now you'll have one image on the right, the other image on the left. Zoom in on the image on the left by hitting Command plus a few times. Hold the space bar in to re uh, move it over. I'll get a brush that fits her eye. Now watch, I'll paint on her eye over here. And when I let go of the mouse after I paint, it'll be reflected over here on the right. So I'll brighten up her eye. Let go of the mouse and it it's over there. Now I'll do the other eye. Let go of the mouse, and now it's over there. So anything I do on this side will be reflected over here, and I could see it in its actual context, and I don't have to keep zooming in and out. Okay, for our final tip, tip number three. Did you ever wish there was just an easy way you could change the luminosity values of the individual colors in a scene? Well, you can do that in Photoshop, but it's a little more involved than what I'm going to show you. Simply change this image to black and white by getting a black and white adjustment layer. And when you do, of course, you have the black and white mix, and you could move these sliders to change the brightness levels of the individual colors that are in the image. Well, what you could do when you want to use a, in a color image is open up the black and white adjustment layer like I just did, but then go down here and change the blend mode to luminosity. And when you do that, it's a color image again. And now when I come in and move these sliders, I'm changing the luminosity values of these colors. So I could come in and really um, target specific colors in the image to make brighter 
or darker. And that's it. That's our trick number three in Photoshop. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.